Now here's news you can use. This is what we hear, this is the buzz in the devil's ear. Good afternoon, Red Devils. This is Red Devil News, the news you can use. I'm Dakota. And I'm Josh, and these are your announcements for today. Lunchtime anime of January will be the seven deadly sins. The last show will be on the 28th. You may bring your lunch into the media center and eat while you watch the episode. The Red Devils are really putting themselves on the map. The track team had multiple successes over the weekend. Both teams set new meet records at the Martin Luther King Invitational Track Meet. The Devlets 4x800 meter relay was vaulted into third place in the state for their win. Our cheerleaders also won first place at Cheer Sport this weekend. Congratulations to our mighty Red Devil wrestlers on winning the 21st Columbus Bi-City Championship. They also took second place against teams from the Bi-City for not just bragging rights, but to retain their title of city champs. This makes the Red Devils' seventh first place win of the season. Individual wins, first place, Johnny Swinney, Tony Morales, Nathan Spillers, and Max Kaufman. Second place is John Boy Story, Elliot Reeder. Third place, Christian Scott, Stud Morris, DeAndre Ivey. Fourth place was Jadarius Johnson. The Red Devils' younger wrestlers are in second place at the Hornet Slam Tournament in Boregard High School. Way to go, Red Devils! All boys interested in playing varsity football next year need to attend a meeting during 7th period on Friday, January 29th. This meeting will inform new players what is required of them to come out for football next year. The girls' tennis team will meet at the PCIS courts after school starting Monday this week. We will start as soon as you get there. You use bus 1291, run 30, parked at CHS in the afternoon. Pickup will be promptly at 5.30. We will practice Monday through Thursday only. Don't forget your racket. Diamond Dolls, don't forget, you will meet in Mrs. Baber's room tomorrow at 8.15. All dolls are required to attend this meeting. Join Central High School's FBLA chapter for the first annual school colors run. The 5K run and one mile kitty dash will be held on March the 5th at the PCIS track. Proceeds from this run will go to CHS's FBLA and their commitment to the March of Dimes at the annual State Leadership Conference. Every participant will receive a t-shirt commemorating the event. Registration forms will be available from any business teacher. FBLA memberships will be having a meeting held in Ms. Pallarino's room this Thursday, the 28th, at 8.15. It is very important that all members attend to finalize plans for the upcoming college run. Seniors, if you missed the cap and gown picture day, the makeup session will be February the 12th. Wednesday, January 27th, which is tomorrow, Jeremiah Castile will be on our campus presenting to our students. Mr. Vickers has approved for all law students to attend. All law students should report to their first period classes and we will dismiss them to the cafeteria around 940 or 945. If you have a 28 on the ACT and you are a sophomore or a junior, you may be eligible to attend the Summer Science Institute at Auburn University. The deadline to apply is February the 12th. Students can apply at www.auburn.edu slash COSAM slash SSI. Sophomores and juniors interested in going on a college visit to University of Alabama may sign up with Mrs. Lewis on stage during lunch. Only $20 to reserve a seat on first come, first serve basis. The trip will take place on Tuesday, February the 9th. Also, students interested in going on college tour at Alabama State University may sign up with Mrs. Lewis. The cost is only $12. The tour includes admissions and scholarship requirements, as well as band performances and admission into two basketball games. Seats are reserved by payment on a first come, first serve basis. The trip will be this Saturday, January the 30th. Any thespian that is registered to go on the Thescon trip next week needs to meet in Mrs. Dempsey's room tomorrow morning at 8.30. Also, don't forget to vote Darius Thomas for President 2016. These have been your Red Double TV announcements. Have, have a great Red Double Day! Red Double Day.